Is it literally just 911? I've never had to do this before. Okay. I was listening to fucking Christmas carols and I'm like, what's that noise? Hello? Hi, I'm, Mercy. What are you reporting? Hi, I'm in my apartment right now and I kept hearing like a rock hitting my window and I looked up to my window and there's two men throwing rocks at my windows, my window and they're like waving at me and it's really Can you scary. Know this huh? Can you know this no, I've never seen these men in my life and it's really scary because I live by myself and I'm a girl. Yeah, apartment, or house? apartment. What's the apartment number? What is your name? What city are you in? Los Angeles. Stay on the line for LAPD. Don't hang up one second. Okay. LA City 911 operator 419. Yes, you have to do the transfer. Go ahead and scan. Hello? Yeah, how can I help you? Hi, um, I'm inside my apartment right now, and I heard rocks getting thrown at my window, so I looked outside, and there's two grown men waving at me and throwing rocks at my window, and they won't leave. Okay, like trying to get your attention or trying to break your window? I don't know. They're just, they keep throwing rocks, and they keep, yeah. like, waving at me. And you don't know who they are? I don't know who they are, no. Okay, what's your address? And do you see what color shirt or pants they're wearing? Um, they're wearing coats that are gray. Yeah, they're still staring at me. Oh my god. Yeah, they're just wearing like. Are you in a house or an apartment? An apartment. What apartment number are you in? So we would need to call you so you can let Elisa? Yeah. You said you don't recognize them? How old do they live? 20s, 30s, 40s? 30s? And I don't know them at all. Like small rocks. Right, like pebbles? Yeah. Or, yeah, like, like, like pebbles. I wonder if they have, like, um, apartment cookies for somebody else's. They um, saw me, though, and is, they won't stop. Still testing, yeah, because I don't know them at all. And they see me, and they're just, like, like, they want me to, like, I don't even know what they want, but I'm obviously not going to get out of my apartment because I'm, like, a girl, that, and I live alone. Yeah, yeah. Okay, what's your name and phone number? Do you think that they might cause damage to the window, or do you think it's not, the pebbles are not big enough, or um, is it more just trying to cause your capture attention, or do you I'm, think that I don't know what it is. I'm just scared because I live alone, and I don't know who these men are, um, and they just keep right. throwing rocks. Yeah, I don't know. It's really loud, too. Okay, we'll send somebody out there. Okay, thank you. Oh, my God. What happened? No, they're just throwing rocks, and it's, like, really scaring me. It's like really okay, aggressive, we'll yeah. Somebody. Okay, we'll send somebody out there, okay? Thank you. Yeah, and I, I'm like, like they're trying to get my attention specifically. Like there's other, like there's so many other ways to get attention or they can call like the landlord. Like I don't know what they want from me and they won't leave. Like I looked and they're still there and they're throwing rocks in my window and I don't know if they've been watching me and I like, I don't know, like, sometimes I walk around my na my apartment naked, like, because I don't know if I'm just, like, getting dressed or something, or if I'm not wearing pants, like, just walking around, and I'm scared that they've been watching me. Yeah. God, I'm so shaky, like. Like, leave. Fucking leave, you weirdos. Hello? Hi, it's number 214 with LAPD. Is this Lucia? Yeah. I have copy off of the officers. They've arrived on... Yeah, okay, coming. The police said that they were here, but they're not here. I went downstairs. The creepy guys that were here and here. There goes the cops. See, okay, so you saw him standing outside both of them, or just the one? Just one. There was two men, I know. They were standing here on the stairs, or just outside? Outside. Right here. And did you question them, or no? Because you no, weren't we, sure if those were the men? We didn't have any, any uh, probable cause to question them, because... Even though was, they were throwing rocks? At my window? They were not throwing rocks at that time. Okay. And they were outside. All right. We'll be violating their rights if we go over there. Okay. Hi, you're at 24 hours at 900 Pacific Coast. All right. Okay. So there's nothing to do about it at all? No, this is not our crime yet. Okay. So, at uh, this time, it's just like kind of more like a safety concern. Yeah, not definitely. A, not a crime. All right. Because stalking has to be like habitual. 
Okay, so even though I saw a man similar come to the apartment before and ask for my number, that's not completely unrelated? No. It doesn't add up, okay. No. So when would I call again if I see the same man? Yes. Okay. But it's like really hard because stalking has to be very habitual and you have to have also take photos because you have to have proof. I took a video of him okay, when he was doing it. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. All right. All right. All right. You have a good night, okay? Mm hmm. Okay. All right, guys. So the cops came. Um, I'll just explain it more when I get to the airport. But I booked a flight to go back home because there's no way in hell I'm staying here. I've watched too many true crime documentaries. I know too damn well that this is a warning sign of something even worse to happen. So I'm out of here. The police aren't helping me, so I'm going to help myself. I booked a flight. I'm out of here. 8.15 in the morning. I'm literally, as soon as it's daytime, I am good. So it's now about 5.30 in the morning. Um, I still haven't slept. I was just on call with my mom for a while. And I'm going to go back to New York. As you guys know, got the ticket. Um, my flight leaves at 8.15 in the morning and I'll arrive, sorry, I'm still kind of shaky. Um, I'll arrive in New York around um, 4.20 p.m. EST. So I picked out my outfit. I'm glad I came early because there's a huge line. I also have absolutely, I have no clue what I'm doing. So, I'm home now. I'm, I've settled in. Um, it's just the next day, and I'm going to tell you guys about what happened with the police now that, like, I could, like, calmly address it. When the police came, when they called me and said they were there, they were not there. I did. I looked at my window as soon as they called, and they were not there. And I also went downstairs, and they were not there, and I have video footage that I'll insert. I'll try and put it on the side or something. And I waited there for a couple minutes, and there's, like, a five-minute gap from the call to when the cops actually came. Jumped back upstairs, and then, you know, five minutes passed, the five minute gap I'm talking about, and then the police, um, like I see the car pull up, because I'm looking at the window still. And so I go downstairs um, to talk to the police, and I have a clip that I will show of me interacting with the police. There was a little bit more that wasn't on video, but you get the gist of it. They basically just were saying that there's nothing they could do. They saw the men, or as soon as the men saw them, apparently the police guard, they started running all the way down my block, which is really scary, because the fact that they're running just kind of shows that they're guilty. Like, if you had nothing to be ashamed of, why would you be running? If you didn't do anything bad, why would you run from the cops? And that means they also didn't live in the apartment and forget their key, because they would just explain to the officers, oh, we forgot our key, and we were just knocking, like, um, on her window to see if she could open the gate for us. Like, no. They don't even belong to that apartment building. So that immediately, immediately is very sketchy. So I was trying to explain to the cops... And I was also, so yeah, the cops said they ran away. And then I was explaining to the cops, like, oh, did you not question them? They're like, no, we can't infringe on their rights. Like, what about my rights? They were harassing me. They wouldn't even let me file a report. Like, nothing. Like, there was nothing they could do. They were just like, have a good night. If this happens again, call. But still, I don't think we could do anything. Because for it to be stalking, it needs to happen consistently and there needs to be proof. So then I mentioned to him that, and I actually, it's really funny, not funny, but like, I have a clip on this camera from like a week ago of me just like ranting, and what's been happening is there was this man, um, again, like a big Hispanic man, that came up right to my apartment door like a while ago, and like probably about a month ago actually, and was asking me for my number because he had a package of mine and said that he needed my phone number so I can come downstairs and open the gate for him, and... He was just kind of like, it was like broken English and he kept being very persistent. I didn't really understand, but like, it, I don't know. It was just like making me nervous because he kept asking. And I never lived in a apartment before, so I don't really know how it works at the gate. And he had my package, so I figured like, okay, it's fine. So I did give him my number so he could like give my packages, but he hasn't been doing that. I don't know what happened to him, man, but he looked very similar. It's hard to tell because I don't remember the face of that guy. I just remember like his body type, you know? And they were both, like, like big men. So it could have been the same man who maybe came with a friend this time, and maybe they've been stalking me. So I've explained that to the police officer, and, he's, and he just didn't care. He said, well, it doesn't make a difference. There's no proof. I'll try and fit in, like, a little clip of before me talking about that guy. I got, like, a knock on my door one time, and this guy was, like, holding a package for me. And, like, it's weird because 
even the person that brings me like my big doll skill pack like promo packages like that mailman he doesn't like stand there away from me he leaves it at my door and he just goes because he has other mail to do like he's an actual mailman like he has things to do obviously and this guy knocked on my door he didn't have a uniform on and he was just like um like here's your package and i was like oh thanks like I don't know if he was, like, a neighbor, maybe, because he wasn't wearing a uniform. So I thought he, maybe he was just somebody, like, it got delivered to the wrong door or whatever. And then he was just like, yeah, I don't have the gate to the front. And I'm like, huh? And he was like, oh, because I'm here, your mailman. And I was, like, waiting for somebody to open the gate for me. And I was like, oh. And he's like, yeah, I need your number. And I'm like, what? Because I was just really confused. And he was like, I need your number. I'm like, what do you need my number for? And he's like, I need your number so I can call you for, like, the gate so when i have your package you can come let me in because um i was standing there for like 30 minutes he was saying apparently i'm trying to piece the pieces together and i think what if there's a man in the apartment complex like that lives here and he sees me getting our packages and obviously like i live by myself and so if i go to get my packages and he always says i'm by myself or whatever what if he's just like like doing this to talk to me like it's just really suspicious i'm now concerned for my safety because things just aren't matching up all right so now that you saw everything right isn't it a little bit sussy right a little bit suspicious um i think my best bet is that i'm gonna think worst case scenario for my own safety i think they were testing the waters and I don't think they were trying to break my apartment and steal stuff. I think they were coming from me, like me specifically, because it's so scary. Like, I still remember looking out the window and seeing this man's, like, face just, like, grinning at me. And the way they, it just seemed like they were trying to get in my head, like, in a horror movie, like how, like, the killers, like, literally, like, play with their prey, you know? Like, that's what it felt like to me. I don't know. It's just all really scary. And there isn't really, like, one solution. Like, this isn't solved. The police did nothing. All I did was run away. Run away. So yeah, guys, I'm going to close out the video here because there's a lot of footage. Next video, hopefully, will be a happy video. Maybe I'll do some, like, Christmas shopping. If you guys want to see that, maybe I'll do Black Friday shopping. I think I am going to vlog me Christmas shopping. Um, but yeah, guys, let me know what you think in the comments about what you think was going on with these men, what their goal was. Um, and thank you again for everyone that reached out and, like, checked up on me. Um, but yeah, I'm going to close out the vlog here, guys. Thank you all for watching.